The astronaut husband of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords announced today that he is going to leave the hospital to command the shuttle Endeavour's final flight this spring. And Bob Woodruff was there. Wearing a blue wristband with the inscription, Peace, Love, Gabby, astronaut Mark Kelly made the announcement today that he will return to space on April 19th and that he hopes his wife, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, will be there to send him off. I have every intention that, that she'll be there for the launch. Do you think you got the, the okay from her to do this? I know her very well, and she would be very comfortable with the decision that I made. Kelly refused to give any details on his wife's health. You know, I've intentionally, through this whole process, tried not to go down the path of what can she do today and what she can do tomorrow. Because then I wind up in the situation where I feel like I continuously have to give updates that people will speculate on. He would only say that her, quote, lightning fast progress made his plan possible. And where she is today is, you know, better than 99 percent of the other people that they see with this kind of injury. It has been a difficult decision. On one hand, commanding what could be the last shuttle mission, transporting an alpha magnetic spectrometer to the space station, which could unlock the mysteries of our universe. But he will be away from his wife for at least 14 days, leaving Gifford's mother responsible for all decisions regarding her care. I feel very confident that I made the, made the right decision, not only for me, but for my crew members, for my family, and for my wife. And He'll keep in touch through email so and the occasional rejoicing. phone call. Will you be able to, to see her in the, in the video conference? Will she be able to see you? So we typically do one family video teleconference on a shuttle flight and it's normally towards the end of the end of the mission and ours is during the end of the flight. Today his crew welcomed him back. The, the best thing really is to have the commander that you've trained with for 18 months. This week NASA actually consulted Gifford's doctors just to make sure that her condition would not worsen. The last thing they want is a commander being distracted while he is responsible for the lives of six astronauts 200 miles above the earth. Diane? Bob, good to have you reporting from Houston tonight.